So the first thing that we're going to do now that we've created a new project is to create a new script file. Go back to file and under new file, choose our script. This will open up a fourth window in your environment. And this is just basically a text file that stores our code. Um, this basically does what the console does, allows you to execute uh, our script, but also allows you to include documentation and save the file for uh, reproduction later. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're actually start uh, using some R code here. And the first thing that we're going to do is uh, set up our working directory. And our working directory works just like a, a folder structure on your desktop. Um, typically, when you're starting a new project, um, you're going to want to save all of your uh, files and places uh, where you can relocate them later. You're going to want to keep different uh, data objects separate. So this is why we're going to go ahead and set this up. And as we're doing this, I'm going to introduce you to uh, one of the features of the script files, which is documentation. A hashtag is not read by R. Um, it's basically just ignored. So this allows us to write notes to ourselves uh, that won't interfere with actually running the script. And I'm going to use this for the purpose of just keeping track of what we're doing. And then later on, we can understand why we took the steps that we did. So right here, um, actually, we'll call this uh, setting up our working directory. OK, and the first uh, command within R that I'm going to introduce you to is something called uh, git wd. So if you go ahead and type in git wd, this stands for git working directory, and followed by parentheses. And if you're using a Windows machine, you can, at the end of this line, type control enter. And as you do that, you'll see the output come up in the console. So this is telling me the location of my working directory, which in this case is my users folder um, under the documents. OK, and if you wanted to change the location of your working directory, you can do that either with code with a separate command called set WD, which stands for set working directory, in which case within quotation marks, you could just insert the location, um, the, the extension of uh, that location that you want to, to store your files. You can all do this uh, manually as well using these three dots here on the bottom right window. And this allows you to just basically navigate through your computer's folder structure and manually choose the, uh, the folder that you want to save your, your files in. In this case, I've already got it in my documents folder under the introduction to R uh, project folder. And so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. But this will allow you to, to, to set it manually if you have a different preferred location for these files. So the next thing that we're going to do is create the actual folders within our project folder to store our, our data and also any of the other kinds of interim products that we're creating um, in the context of the session. So to do that, we're going to use another function, which is called dir create. This just stands for directory create, followed by parentheses. And within quotation marks, you're going to give the name of the folder. So I'm going to call this one data, and this is going to be used to store any of the raw data sets that I'm using um, in this session. Again, control enter um, on a Windows machine or Apple enter on a Mac. We'll execute that. And as we do, within our folder structure in the bottom right window, you'll now see our new data file uh, folder created. We're now going to repeat that same process for some of the other data, or sorry, the other folders that we want to store here. The next one we're going to create is called data output, and this is where we're just going to save any of the edited or uh, changed versions of those data. Um, we want to keep those things separate so that we're not accidentally corrupting our raw data um, or getting any kind of things mixed up. I want to make sure to keep those, those different data sets in different folders. 
begin as you execute that command, that data folder is going to show up in your window. And the last one that we're going to create is called fig output. And this is which where we're going to store any kind of figures. And again, that appears in our bottom right window. 